caught by jumping in in the middle of loading transition, trying to do some more Halloweeny stuff, and we just happen to have this game lying around. Imported a physical copy, and they did a patch update to make the game English, because we. Awesome. The Japanese and Asian versions did not have English initially. Also, the, uh, like, er, er, to, we're playing this on the Switch, but, like, the Wii uh, U shot goes down, I believe, like, spring of next year, meaning there's only around, I think, four or so uh, months left. So go grab the Wii U version while you can. Wii U's with that at download are going to be arbitrarily more p valuable. Oh, I want you to go, go back. What the, that says classic. What the fuck are the other things? Because whenever I see... Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, whenever I see something marked as classic, I think uh, that's a very <laughs> polite way of saying it's an outdated control scheme from when they didn't have more buttons. That looks like... Walk is the stick. What the fuck is the other one? The... What's the other control scheme then? Okay, because classic, you have aim camera and you have. Uh, don't want to spend too much time in the menu. I want to figure out. So, on classic, you walk with the stick. Oh, it's search and photo. They both have a classic and the other one. Yeah, that's what I noticed. So you, you walk with the stick. Aim. Camera. It run. It flips some of the triggers around. I guess just leave it on for now, and if we have problems, you can change it. Okay, subtitles on, good. Audio, English, good. I just have to make sure everything... Mm. I got the English pads, goddammit. Hold on. You could leave it on default, maybe set... Set brightness so you can see the ghost face. We're not doing that. Maybe like... One or two notches above the default. Like there, maybe? Or there? Uh, I can change it in the. I can change it in the settings. <laughs> if I. Because I don't want it too bright, because that washes out the freaking image. Mm hmm. Spooky woo. Any day now, game. It was loading. It was taking its sweet ass time. Mm hmm. Spooky Halloween stuff. <laughs> Halfway through the month, and I'm probably gonna be uploading a bunch of this while also juggling our main let's plays and Carson's other idea. And my possible other other idea. Okay, the one main idea would work. We just need to sit down. It's not going to be that complicated. <laughs> Playing the Switch version of this because... It was initially only. It a was a Wii U game, and the Japanese version of the Wii U is a physical. They never released a physical in America. They released a physical for the Switch, but only in like Japan and Asian territories, which we imported. But what's 
funny about that is the initial import did not have English in it. You had to get a patch. And we patched it, so it is working. And somehow my box is slightly chipped. You wouldn't notice it unless I pointed it out, but it's just like... It's probably just a factory error. It was true! But that makes it arbitrarily more valuable. It's not like it was super, super damaged, but... Ooh, spooky. Getting right into them. Go, 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 go! Ah! Is this game tank controls or not? Not really! Good. And it saved. Okay, cool. Alright. Cause it does use the stick and well, it can actually... Look, she, she, um. she spins. Alright. And the camera by default is... Ah, good, because Tank can... And the camera by default is set to correct! Unless I play Sunshine, in which case I... Ah, oh, good, because Tank controls were an antiquated design concept <laughs> created in ancient... Created... I found the run button, but the run... And so, I don't want to take the wind out of your sound with that run cycle. Alright. That's running. Dude. Tank controls are. Uh, tank and uh, uh, trolls were an antiquated uh, design created in an era that hadn't figured out two sticks yet. That is literally the only reason they. Oh, it, Jesus. That is literally the only reason they existed. Cause the Christ, Christ, Christ. Uh, now she's actually. Because the first Resident Evil, Evil came out before the. Cool shock, right? Yeah, okay, sure, well, dude. kind of. There's a whole other. How's oh, the other thing? Tank controls were used to create artificial difficulty. Because I don't uh, care what anyone and uh, says. You can also edit on screen how long it took for this uh, playthrough to the evolve into this uh, rant. Taking control away from the player isn't scary. It is just frustrating. Christ, Christ, Christ. Go, 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 go. Spooky. I'll, I'll talk more. I'm trying to read the tutorials and actually control this thing. The classic mode ain't bad. Oh. Or you could ignore the tutorials and can play when you don't know what the buttons do like a, a standard life player. I mean, we are playing a, a horror game, so we need to intentionally play the game badly and overreact to every little thing. Oh my god! <laughs> Gonna turn into Kermit. Oh! <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons. Go, go, go. Oh, uh, good. You can't uh, die in the tutorial. It's let's player proof. Because the game's kind of, it's teaching you shit, and it's getting scarier all the second. I just wanted a physical copy of this thing. And this was a horror game I was interested in, because it's not just, like, super generic horror, it's, it, an interesting game because this series is known for the game where you fight ghosts with a camera.
It's just they didn't release a lot of these in America. Because the series didn't do well. I want to know why the Switch version didn't have English initially. It's probably just some cost saving thing. Or they literally produced those. Right, uh, remember, this is uh, Koei Tech Mall. Uh, like, those are the uh, dead or alive booby people, right? I think. Yeah, so all the money has to go to Dead or Alive's exorbitant costume DLC. I mean, at least they put an English patch that you. that thankfully, because the Switch is region free, patches work fine. The only discrepancy you'll sometimes get is. DLC on certain games can be funky, but even that apparently hmm. isn't even 100% true. They, they kind of ironed out the Switch because of people importing, especially just because that is kind of shit. Oh, you have a Japanese version of a game. Sorry, bud. Can't get the DLC. Oh, time to pull up the translation, guys. Because before we installed the English patch, it actually, this physical copy was just treated as a Japanese version. Because there are two things someone has to do to transcend into full weeb. One, play a, a game in raw ass Japanese with a translation guide, and the second thing is watch an anime in Japanese without subtitles. Get this show on the road. <laughs> Again, clearly playing on the Switch version. Oh. Wii U, this ain't. <laughs> Just due to it being digital only, we never got it at the time. Because, like... Mm. Well, that was also in the middle of... Remember, where our Wii U wouldn't update properly, yeah. and Nintendo had to fix it, but we lost original saves, which annoys me. I don't completely blame them for that. They did end up fixing the system, but mm. the, I lost a bunch of original save files, which annoys me, and I never went back to certain games. Hey, they, uh, let, that leaves certain games open for LPs. That's like one kind of good thing about that, I guess. I thought that I'd be scared of death. Eventually, just because of the memes, to get my fucking file back, because I had it, I had a 100% Lego Marvel Super Heroes file. No, I thought it was 99% because the Wii U version had a weird glitch that prevented no, something from spawning. No, no, I'm pretty sure I had a 100. No, my Lego Harry Potter on the Wii is like locked at like 99. Mm -hmm. I think my game is bugged. I am alone. I love how we're tangenting about Wii saves. Oh, because the game isn't really doing anything at, at this point. What we're looking for should be in here. Spooky. Oh, hey, camera! This is an excellent chance for you to take the lead. Here, Get, take this. Take this! Give, give me my ghost defeating super camera. And, I, and we're either going to talk uh, about that or I'm going to spend this entire thing ranting about how I hate most horror games because I feel what most people say makes a game scary just makes it frustrating and unfun to me. So pick your poison, motherfucker. Which is, you know, why this game series is interesting because it's not like. <laughs> That bad in this game, saving all the damn times, even if I get my ass kicked. Give it a try. Just hold up the camera. Oh. Oh, good. It has gyro. Oh, shit. Weird. The camera obscure photographs in Netherworld, a whole other world separate from our own. You can also use the stick. That world that we see through the lens is not. But the gyro. <laughs> If because of the position you're Make in, if the gyro is too long, or you could go through that off later. Oh, <laughs> the low battery. 
you might be drawn into the netherworld through sight. God damn it, game, really. What? Look at the two spots that are circled. I do like the gyro. I'm gonna have to... have to get used to spinning this can throw her like a madman. <laughs> but be sure to stay in your car. Go on and head inside. Map? Go. Ah, fine. <laughs> There's just a dumb photo mode in this thing. <laughs> because it's just the modern trend now. Good, actual proper running it's speed. It's more than photographs. It's not just a normal photograph that is taken to mourn the dead. It's why Ren sent us here. But it seems that this photo came from somewhere around here. Gyro is gonna be fine. I just need to. Cause here's the thing about gyro, I can move, and I can spin the freaking. Yeah. Fun. Good. Yeah, don't just randomly take pictures. I can't remember if this is a game where your camera has ammo. Hold on. Let's go back to. Type seven times infinite. Oh. What? Oh, okay then. So the basic one is infinite. Good. I have. Because if I try to change to another ammo type, it has to recharge, but I have inf. Because it was times infinity. Okay, good. I think you get some stronger types with ammo. But... That would make sense. I'm fine with the basic bitch type being infinite, because that fixes one of the problems yeah. I. Yeah, it was like a horror games and shit. You at least have some way to defend yourself. Spooky. So it's not uh, like you'll be, you know, dead gamed or whatever because you don't have ammo. Yeah. And with the gyro, as long as I remember I fucking have that, I can swing my controller around. Because, uh, you know, gyro is objectively uh, better. Objectively better. Than with, aiming with a stick. With the caveat of gyro can off center. Over time, so you need a good reset for that. Ah! 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 Oh! Overreaction. <laughs> Damn it, half of this is just gonna be <laughs> making fun of like horror focused streamers. It's time! For the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So anyway, I always ask this question at the start of a new Let's Play, but how is the audio balancing? I thought it was okay, however, this game unfortunately has a lot of weird audio where sometimes 
the game gets louder, I guess, because it's a horror game, while the voice acting and overall music is often somewhat quiet. So I boosted the game audio up a good bit to make it a bit more audible, but I still think me and Carson are marginally louder than the game, but you can still kind of hear the game going on in the background underneath our commentary. But I also think that the game is not really drowning us out, but it is loud enough to be decently audible, but we also have the subtitles on. I always hate trying to balance out voice acting audio when I'm making a let's play because if the voice acting is too loud it drowns us out but if it's too quiet it's often incredibly hard to hear but when you do commentary like this you always need to strike a decent balance but if you want the audio adjusted for the next part as always you are free to suggest an audio adjustment, whether that be making us louder or making us quieter or making the game louder or making the game quieter, but I thought my balancing was decent enough. So anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links as well as my Discord links are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute if you subscribe to the channel and if you follow me on social media. That really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope I will see you all next time. So as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.